Well, hello there. I'm back at you with another what's for dinner. This time we are using the Snoop Dogg cookbook. <laughs> So when I wanted to get Nick a book for Christmas, it was buy two, get one free. So we picked up, I picked up that one and a Pioneer Woman one. I found one recipe for sure that we're gonna make tonight and then I was looking through it and I know there's more recipes. I was reading the, he has some funny stuff in there and Snoop Dogg probably got popular when I was, you know, that age or whatever. So I remember some Snoop Dogg. Husband remembers some Snoop Dogg. My sister really liked watching him with Martha Stewart. I've never had an opportunity to watch those. But anyways, we're cooking. Um, so tonight we are going to cook, oh, oh, I'll turn it to the fancy page. The OG fried bologna sandwiches. So I just thought that'd be fun and different. But I was like reading it to Oliver and it says, now this is a certified hood classic. And he's like looking at me like, what kind of cookbook does she have? And I'm like, dude, it's the Snoop Dogg cookbook. He goes, oh, that makes a lot more sense that you said hood classic. I'm like, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. The ingredients are simple bologna butter, white bread, yellow mustard, American cheese, and barbecue potato chips. So I got all those on hand. I did make a pasta salad with it. I made that earlier so it could cool down and be cold pasta salad and not kind of warm pasta salad. So I can show you what I put in that. Let's hope it all get goes well and let's get to cooking. So this does say it serves one. So I'm going to, you know, make it so we can make four sandwiches, one for each of us. It's pretty simple. You um, kind of fry the bread first and then you fry the bologna and just put it together and you put as many your barbecue chips you would want on there. It says place the bologna on a cutting board and cut one slit from the middle to the edge of each slice. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll get the bread going and the skillet going. I'm just gonna use my electric skillet. I figure that'll be the best. And sorry about the pups. Oh, I'm supposed to toast both sides. Okay. Toasting both sides of their sandwiches so they taste real good. It makes more sense now. Oh no, I spilled some on my table.
this is the pasta salad I made. I just used up some shells we had in the fridge. I bought a bag of mini pepperonis, and then I used these like specialty olives. I bought relish tray. Lincoln got a little messy, so he is cleaning up. And then I just put some oil and lemon juice and Italian seasoning and season salt on it. To add with it, is it good? Have you tried it yet? Yeah, lemon juice. Yeah, that's what the recipe called for. So this is the olives I used, um, the pepperonis, and then I got my chips and cheese all stacked up. The cheese is kind of sliding off. Gotta get some pasta. What do you think, Nick? Pretty good. Tastes like a cheesy hot dog. <laughs> Tastes like a cheesy hot dog. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So I'm getting some salad here. Nikki, you need to get some salad. I want some of those good olives. So Nick says it's good. I'll try it and I'll let you know. Well, we are all done. Nick and I agreed that less bologna and cheese might be a little better, but we're not huge like bologna and American cheese fans. Lincoln said no, it was delicious. The more the better. And then Oliver didn't answer me because yeah. What puppies? I got the camera out, so of course the puppies are whining. But otherwise it was good. It had a good flavor, you know, just something fun and different to try. The pasta turned out good. So I hope you enjoy this and stay tuned for the next one. Well, hey, I am back at you with another recipe from the Snoop Dogg cookbook. And so I was looking through this cookbook and I found this recipe for chili cheese fries. And it looked pretty good, but like you have to make your own fries with potatoes and stuff like that. Then my son asked for, you know, I was asking him each like what, you know, supper idea that you would like to have or whatever. And my younger son said that he would like chili dogs. So I was like, oh, okay. So then I was like, oh, I could use the chili from that chili cheese fries and just make it for the hot dog. So I'm gonna kind of use half the recipe today. And it is a big batch of chili. It uses two pounds of ground beef and I'm gonna only use one. So I am gonna cut it in half. We only have eight hot dogs. So I figured we and you don't need like a pile of chili. So I figured just one pound of meat and just having the recipe would be enough for us. So that is what we are going to cook today. I will show you the recipe and then you can kind of see if you ever wanted to do the chili cheese fries, like what it kind of entails and everything. And then we're gonna get the chili going. And I think maybe I'm gonna cook the hot dogs in the air fryer or warm them up in the air fryer. Otherwise, yeah, <laughs> so I don't really wanna boil them. I don't know. So that is the plan and let's get cooking. So here is the squat up chili cheese fries. And so for like the fries you need potatoes. I mean, they're easy to make. I just didn't want to mess with it really. And then so for the chili, I have one pound ground beef and everything is like two. So it's really easy to, other than the one can of kidney beans. So I'll have a little extra kidney beans. And then I have a bunch of cheese in the fridge that we can just sprinkle on the top. So he breaks it up to like make the fries. And then here's the rest of that. And then he has it make the chili. And then like to finish, you gotta, you know, how you do it because it kind of just like makes almost like an appetizer where you just put it on a big plate and just eat everything. So I just need to do the couple chili recipe here and then we can get to going. And I have, I think I'm gonna cup an apple and maybe get my grapes rinsed and then we'll just have chips with the hot dogs also.
I bought the Pepperidge Farm top slice buns. I thought that would work well for these chili dogs. So you just kind of open it up. Grab my air fried chili, my air fried hot dog, some chili. And then some cheese. And there is my Snoop Chili Dog. <laughs> Review time. The chili was not saucy. It was meat and beans with very little spice. Like even Oliver said it could be a little more spicy and he's always my. It could not be as spicy. So definitely needed some sort of tomato kind of stuff in there. I don't know how that would work with the chili cheese fries. Like it would just, I don't know, that'd be weird. You'd have nothing to kind of like stick it together. I mean, it didn't have like an awful flavor. It just didn't really have a lot of flavor. It worked good though. The hot dogs were really good. I just had the ballpark beef hot dogs. Those buns were really good. They worked perfect for it. Next time I'd probably just like buy a can of chili to use. So I give this kind of a thumbs down. I would say it needs a little little tomato stuff in there or something. But otherwise, chili cheese dogs were good. Like the thought of it, and I enjoyed the hot dogs and the air fryers, so that was a win. That is all for my chili cheese dogs, and we'll see you in the next recipe. Well, I have the last recipe out of my soup dog cookbook for you. So today we're gonna make some Rolls Royce PB chocolate chip cookies. Just a simple chocolate chip cookie recipe, pretty much I read through it, and then except for you put peanut butter in it. So I'm pretty excited to see how they turn out. So let's get to cooking. <laughs> So I got these new parchment cookie baking sheets. They fit mine pretty good, not perfect. Called for two cups semi-sweet chocolate chip. I thought I had bought some. I guess I bought two bags of minis. And not <laughs> regular, so I used up the regular I had, which probably was um Sorry, I can't talk. Which probably was three fourths ish of a cup, maybe a little less. Then I put some mini ones in the rest, and then the other cup I just used chunks. So we have PB and a variety of chocolate chips in here. They're all semi sweet, so that shouldn't make a difference. I am not rolling these into a nice ball. This batter is really sticky, and I don't really care if mine look like perfect circles. So here we are. Um, it says to like move the oven racks and you know, blah blah blah, and I'm like, yeah, not happening. So I um, just put it in the middle, and I'm gonna turn it halfway, and then take them off and put in another one. It says three dozen. I have one dozen in there. Looks like I got another dozen here, and probably at least another dozen, so I'll probably get at least three dozen. It has some of these little mini ones in there, and then some of the chunks. Either way, it'll all work out, so not the end of the world. Oh, there we go. 
I will show you when they're ready to come out of the oven. So I got three dozen sitting here and then it made an extra seven. I mean, it always get at the end you don't have any chocolate chips, <laughs> right? They smell really good. Um, they smell peanut buttery, but I haven't tasted them yet. So I will let you know how they taste. Well, I tried one of those cookies and they are good. They got a nice flavor of peanut butter. Um, I didn't have a lot of chocolate chips in mind, but so I think if I'm going to be super, super picky, I could do a little less peanut butter and a little more chocolate chip. That's just my thought. But otherwise, it's good. Could have something to do with the fact that I had to use those chunks instead of regular chips because the chunks are just bigger or whatever. They have a good flavor. I like it when they're soft, but then kind of have a little crunch or a little crisp on the outside. So definitely good. This cooking video has three recipes as usual. I did the fried bologna sandwiches and those are weird as we told you. Lincoln really liked them. He's requested them again and the rest of us are like, hmm. So if we have alone in the house i'll make him one but otherwise <laughs> we haven't made those again and then the chili like i said it was just kind of a dry chili which is weird but otherwise you know it had a it didn't have much flavor if i remember it's been a little bit so there's that i went into more detail after all the recipes so i hope you enjoyed my little cooking video as always please like subscribe and i will see you in the next one